Okay, questions for Daniel? What were you trying to show today? Um, that I'm just a polished professional. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you know, everyone will work as hard as they can in the off season, lift, uh, run, get in the classroom, learn some of the football 101, but just show that I'm a polished professional. Um, I take everything serious. I focus on the little details, uh, the little 1% that uh, set people apart, uh, especially in the professional world. You didn't run a 40s or anything. You figure your combine spoke for that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How much do you think the combine helped you? Um, I think it was, tremendous, it was tremendously helpful. Um, not only was it an opportunity for me to showcase, you know, my abilities off the or on the field, but it was also to talk to teams, show what type of person I am, what type of character I have off the field. Um, and then you get to meet extraordinary people. Um, you know, you meet people that you're not necessarily going to get drafted by, um, with people, you know, personnel, um, executives, whoever and whatnot. Um, you know, just meeting those people too, growing your network, and then, uh, you know, connecting with people that, you know, go through the same struggles and the same challenges, the same ups and downs in football as you do, uh, kind of helps you bond together and make some sort of brotherhood. Did you surprise yourself at all to come by? Um, I mean, uh, maybe a little bit, but I think I surprised other people around me. Um, you know, I, I know how athletic I am. I know what, what type of stuff I could put on tape, uh, how I could move, and, um, you know, it kind of motivated me a little bit more to prove some people wrong because some people kind of counted me out and, you know, didn't think I was going to perform as well. So it definitely helped me. What were you most happy with today? Uh, just to be out here and, uh, you know, again, show my fluidness, show my hips, um, show that I'm still in shape. Uh, just because the combine's over doesn't mean I'm slacking off or not working out. Um, and then, you know, support my teammates. Uh, not only our two past teammates last year, Kako and uh, Marcel, but also Jameson. Me and him uh, being the old heads last year on the Cal football team, you know, it meant a lot for each other, support each other through this process because um, it could be a grueling process. So it was an awesome experience. What stood out about the messages you've heard from teams so far? Uh, that's a good question. What have teams uh, kind of said? I mean, they all just say, you know, you know, they're a hard worker. Um, you know, you put some good things on tape. Uh, for me, I, there's never a challenge that I, I'm not up for. So whether that's me doing everything at the combine, whether that's me coming out here and still working out, still running my drills, um, whether it's going to senior bowl or whatnot, you know, I'm here to do a job. I'm here to, um, you know, challenge myself and just become a better player on and off the field. Is there is there a trend of the questions that they've been asking you? Uh, not really. I mean, you get the basic ones. What are you going to run? Um, how you feel? What do you feel most comfortable position-wise at? Um, you know, what's your weight? Kind of just the basic stuff. I don't know if there's anything that uh, stuck out to me one way or the other. They haven't broken into like scheme questions or asked you to diagnose things like that. Yeah, that. Um, like in some informal interviews, they'll ask me a little bit. You know, what does Cal run? Talk to me through my tape. Um, also, like maybe a mini install of what they run. Maybe some basic stuff, basic uh, philosophy stuff that they have, but. Uh, you know, I think the between the ears brain part of football is what kind of what sets me apart. So um, it's been a fun process is talking about our scheme, talking about other people's scheme and again, just talking football. Do, do you have uh, visits lined up for any teams? Yeah, I have a couple, uh, two of them so far um, in April and, you know, hopefully maybe a couple more to follow. You've done this kind of pre-draft gauntlet senior bowl combine pro day. How are you feeling you know, physically and mentally going into the draft? Um, I feel good. Um, you know, definitely, you know, get a breath of fresh air. Your shoulders a little bit uh, not as heavy. Um, but again, you know, I'm here to do a job. I'm here to do a challenge. Um, you know, I've been born to do this. You've been doing football for since I was six years old. So, um, you know, I just try to take one step in front of the other and uh, focus on the first thing first. And at one time it was a senior bowl. At one time it was a combine. And uh, today was the pro day. So, um, you know, the next stop is just stay in shape, um, get ready for fall. Or, I guess you call it spring ball OTAs and um, get ready for a season. Which NFL veterans do you try to pattern your game after or look up to? Uh, I mean, I watch a lot of ball. Um, I like Jordan Poirier at the Bills. Um, I even like Hufunga down the yeah. street of the 49ers. He's a baller. Um, Mika Fitzpatrick in the middle of the field. Um, I don't necessarily like to copycat one person or the other, but I like to watch a lot of film, see you know something that they do well that I could translate into Daniel Scott's. When know, Hufanga position. came to the Niners, he talked about how he wanted to be the special teams star before he like made it to the All-Pro level already a second year. Does that kind of resonate with you too? Yeah, I mean, you know, you got to work from the ground up. Um, I, I know I'm not an All-Pro safety right now. I got strides to make to become the best player I could be. Um, but I know, you know. That's what a lot of teams say. You know, you're going to make your money. You're going to make your, your roster spot playing special teams. And uh, not only did I do that here at Cal, but you know, I'm excited to do that on the professional level. Did you expect to get drafted? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I just put in as much hard work as I can. You know, have a great support system around me that's helped me 
mentally, physically, psychologically. So, um, you know, I think me and my village, as I'll call it, um, has done a good job preparing for this, and uh, it's kind of out of my hands now. So, I, I, I hope so. But you'd be okay signing as a free agent. Yeah, I mean that's that's not the goal here, but at the same time, you know, having any opportunity for for an NFL roster spot and competing for it is a lifelong dream. What does this next month look for you? Um, I mean, I'm going to be up here for a little bit, support the uh, football team through spring ball. I'm um, going to come here tomorrow and uh, cheer on the guys a little bit during their uh, kind of scrimmage. Um, and then we'll go back home down to Southern California, continue to train, hang out with family, um, and just prepare again, like I said, for May and the you know, season beginning. And a lot of, a lot of tackles at Cal, so great questions for Chris and what he's doing with Daniel. What, what were you trying to show with this guy? So for Daniel, it's um, just showing how athletic he is. Um, you know, obviously he ran a great 40 time at the combine and we want to get out here and display that and show that he can cover from the middle of the field and uh, just kind of just confirm everything that you saw at the combine that, you know, those those numbers are real and he moves like that and um, just the way he uh, can attack the football in the air, just, you know, showing off his skills. Do you think he did that? I definitely do. I think he did a great job. I think all the scouts were very impressed with him. Uh, I think everybody walks away from here um, thinking, you know, confirming what they thought about Daniel. And I think the projection that he's on, you know, he, he's gained a lot of uh, momentum since the, the combine. And I think today is just kind of the progression. And then the next step will be him uh, meeting with teams and some individual workouts. So um, I think his projection is looking really good. What's your sense of what teams might be wondering about regarding Dan? Um, I, I think he's such a smart player. Um, you know, he's obviously has a ton of, of film, uh, you know, being, for, being here at Cal for as long as he, he was. Um, I think for him, uh, these teams just want to, you know, wanna get around and touch him and feel him and, and get to know him. Um, a lot of that is just spending time with guys and, uh, con you know, it's a big it's a big pick you know if you miss out on a draft pick it's it's a big deal so uh these teams take it very seriously and i think they just want to confirm you know and make sure that they're making the right choice has the safety position changed even since you were there oh yeah so the safety position is much more of a you know it, it, the guys that are the big hitters um there's not really the same place for that in football anymore so um and just the way um the offenses are running. They're, they're, there's so much more guys in space. Um, the game is moving faster. Um, you know, there's no huddle. Uh, a lot more 11, you know, 12 personnel with tight ends that can run. So uh, at safety, you got to be a coverage guy and you got to be able to cover ground and you also have to be able to tackle. So they're asking a lot more from safeties these days. How important was that combine performance to back up the film from last year? I think it's huge. Um, I think. Whenever you have a guy that can run those times, you're gonna you're gonna draw a lot of eyes. So um, I think that's. I mean, it still shows. You know, speed is king in football. So it's uh, it's such an important factor. And whenever you can check that box and be a guy that um, excels uh, there, it's gonna it's gonna you know bring a lot of attention.